Ryan with Mist Geek here, and in this video, a quick tour of a new vendor and a new product uh, that I thought you'd be interested in. Uh, you know, of course, you guys know that I cut my teeth on the BitX40, um, and uh, I've been working on another um, receiver, the another DC40 version two, which I'm behind on and, and have having problems with, and. <laughs> Uh, you know, I just love building stuff. Um, I haven't built a radio from a, a, trans, a transmitter from scratch or a transceiver from scratch. Uh, it's on the list to do someday, but I was going to build from scratch the PSSST 20 from Pete Giuliano uh, N6QW. And it uses just a few 2N2022As, 22, 22 a 22 uh, 19A and, and then a final output either a IRF 510 or a, a Mitsubishi uh, RD 006 HHF1. I think I think it's Mitsubishi. Can't remember. They might have the brand wrong on that chip. But anyway, a nice simple uh, chip for for putting about five watts out on 20 meters. I bought parts for it. I've actually built like the um, side, the SSB filter on it, but I haven't gotten any progress on it because I moved and I have a really, uh, really great job that keeps me really busy and happy and a bunch of other stuff going on in life. So I've been kind of rebuilding my life since my wife passed. And not a lot of that's included radio, although I intend it to do, to be more so in the future. Anyhow. So my timeline for scratch building this is pretty far out. On the other hand, this new guy, mostly DIY RF, which is uh, Todd K7FTFC, uh, and I'll show you this here in a minute. He has come out with a P3ST or PSSST tw uh, modular transceiver kit. This thing is cool. And the reason it's cool is because it is modular. You can see there's a motherboard with modules that you build and um, they all plug in and they wire together and you can unplug them and rewire them and unwire them and whatever else. And it comes with everything you need to do this. And <laughs> all the parts are there, the boards are made and you can even swap them out for building your own boards if you want to or, you know, just making your own stuff. Um, what's really great is it, you know, like it uses commercial ADE ones for the uh, mixers, but you can make your own mixers and plug them in. And as long as they work the same, it'll work the same. Um, you know, so it's pretty, pretty cool. So all, here's you know, all the different modules. And you can buy it on Tindy. And it's $99.95 until January 3rd. After that, it's $109. And what I did is I bought the basic kit, which is $199.95, but then I also got the LCD display with a rotary encoder kit for 15 bucks. So I, there's less shopping for me to have to do. I, I could just, you know, click, bought, done. And with shipping, mine came out to $123.45. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I did not mention it goes on 20, 17, or 15 meters. So... I'm not sure what band I'll build mine for. We'll get there when we get there. Um, now, if you need help with it, you can come here on this channel and you be on the lookout for um, information on building each module. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to document the entire process. Um, oh, and by the way, this is uh, the, one of these modules. Let's see if I can find the picture here. Uh, it was on the previous page. One of these modules here is the SI5351A, and I believe it's using a, I want to say a Raspberry Pi 2040 um, chip to control it, although I I can't remember if that's correct. You'll have to look in the documentation itself. But um, let's go look in the documentation, shall we? While that's loading, you can also go to the PSSST-20 groups.io page. And here we... The uh, the uh, owner Todd K seven TFC he's active here and it'll be a good, great place to get help. You can also use the uh, um, the other group, the, which I which just went blank on, even though I run it. 
the QRP Tech Group. And so QRP Tech, uh, I'm sure there'll, there'll be people on there running and you know, working with it as well. So anyhow, there's some good stuff here. And it's all there. You just build it. 115 bucks, $120 some dollars shipped. And you've got a nice kit to put on 20, 17, or 15 meters. So, oh, and I also, if you want to, you can go look at the article I wrote about the PSSST 20 when it first came out back in November of 21. And you can look at Pete's page here, n6qw.com slash pssst underscore 20 dot html. Or just Google PSSST 20 and you'll find it. <laughs> so anyway, thought you might be interested in this and so I wanted to show it to you. Uh, I will be doing a full build on this channel uh, as time permits and as energy permits. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. 73.